Good morning, dear friends. I hope you're doing well. I think I really need a haircut. No. Jeremiah's here with me. You're watching Daybird Aviaries. My name is Robert. I'm the bird master here. And today we're going to feed the baby ringnecks that, well, that we've been feeding all along. So I just want to give you an update and show you how great and wonderful and beautiful they are. So let's go ahead and get to it. This baby is Willow, and he's going to go and live with Lisa soon. Isn't he just as pretty as can possibly be? Let's get some formula mixed up. Uh, I bought like a million of these little cups for the kids to drink out of, and they don't like drinking out of them. They don't like the plastic, they say, so... I don't know why, but we're using them for the baby birds now, and they work really well. I hate that they are disposable, but at the same time, I love that they are disposable, not only for the convenience of everything, but the fact that by putting these into the recycling bin, I know that I get a clean container each time and so it's working out pretty well for me you can measure this and there are instructions on the packaging whatever brand that you you decide to use I use the Hagen not to be confused with the Higgins I no longer use Higgins I use Hagen uh, the Tropican formula and it has worked out amazingly well for us. Um, I've been doing this well over 30 years. I just mix it to consistency. And I use it just a little bit thicker than some people would. In general, sometimes I mix it up too thin. That's okay. But I just do that. And I always point out that this is a flexible tip. And... In times past, I have always had a towel down, but you know that with our other baby, our little bluebird, that we have had an issue with a string that got tangled and embedded around her foot, and the only place that it could possibly have come from was from the towel, and so I no longer use a towel on the table. Lolita? Yes, it's a baby, Lolita. It's a baby, you're right. Lolita is our yellow naked Amazon, and she's... We have to keep her caged while the babies are out. She she gets a little too playful, shall we say. But uh, she's only about two feet away, and she loves talking to the babies. And that's okay. But this one's name is Willow. He'll be going home um, probably in two or three more weeks. He'll be ready to go home, and uh, he's going to go and live in Tennessee with our friends up there. So, Jeremiah, go ahead and get that little bluebird out. Okay. Let me, uh, we'll just leave Willow here. You have a heavy footstep this morning. You're making the whole floor shake. I named it Bigfoot because it has a big foot. Jeremiah calls this bird Bigfoot. Catherine calls her Cloud, but... Our friend Grammy Frammy in in Germany has named this baby Sky. And so Sky is her official name. Oh, look, this is the foot that has gotten tangled. The little scar is still there, but the scab has gone away. Just look at how beautiful this baby is. Are you hungry, sweetheart? Here, here, here. You stay over here. Forrest, our eclectus is in the house and he's telling the babies to step up. He has a really deep, mumbly voice. Did you get too much food? They're starting to eat on their own and so they don't want as much food at one time anymore. And we got some food on Sky's tail. Let's wipe that off. So... You're just, you're just making a mess. Did I give you too much to eat? 
Now, see, a week ago, you would have begged for more. But now, look at that. All over me. Now that they're eating some on their own, he doesn't want as much food. What do you think, Lola? Did you see the babies? It's not a pretty cat. It is not. My phone keeps cutting off. I'm out of storage, I believe. Uh, you just keep... You just, are you trying to feed me again? A lollipop, pretty cat. It's not a pretty cat. They're babies. They're baby boys. It not is baby just boards. chaos here. But my phone is pretty much full. I've got to delete some videos. I, I do the live streams from church. And I've been saving the videos to put onto our... YouTube channel. So I'm going to leave some links down below for some different YouTube channels. And um, I'll pin them as the first comments. Uh, one's to our church. One is to my wife's channel. And one is to, uh, well, I'll put a couple for some really good friends that are doing YouTube now. One is Dusty Days. He uh, is a really good friend of mine. He's a woodworker. Makes amazing cabinets and things. And the other is Fox Hollow Reptiles, and he has all kinds of really cool, creepy crawly things. So, uh, what is it? What is it, Willow? What is it, sweet Willow? Uh, did you have enough food? You did. Lolita, be quiet. Lolita. Alright, let's, uh, Let's get these babies put away, Jeremiah. And, uh, I'm going to try to get Lolita talking. So, yeah, just, just pick Step them up. up. Step up, baby. Step up. Close. Step up. Yeah, step up like Forrest said. Yeah, like Forrest said. Step up, Sky. There's Sky. Really? You're so close. What were you calling this bird? Big Bigfoot. Bigfoot. He calls her Bigfoot because she got that string tangled up around her toes and, and it swelled up and we had to take it to the vet. And he and used the microscopic goggle glasses things to, uh, that he, they use for eye surgeries to remove that. You got some food on your, on your belly, baby. But here is... Here's that foot. You can see that little scar, and it's still a little puffy, but Daniela says it looks like a deflated balloon. You are stomping around in here and making the whole house shake. No. Yes. Here, put her back. Lolita, did you see a pretty cat? Huh? Lolita is a yellow-necked Amazon. Amazon parrots are renowned the world over for their talking and mimicking ability, and she is... Well, she's something else, let me tell you. She, um, she doesn't like the little kids. She tolerates me, but she loves Daniel. You did not see a pretty cat. There is not a pretty cat. You did not. No. Are you, a, are you an opera singer today? Well, thank you so much. I think you're pretty, too. Dad, can you call can you, pretty cat? Can you call Daniel? Where's Daniel? Yeah, where's Daniel? She screams for Daniel. She'll scream, Daniel, come here. Daniel, come here. Daniel, let me out. Daniel! <laughs> and then Moose, the macaw, he's up there. Moose will scream, shut up. Lolita, be quiet. No. Quit cat calling. People think that's rude. Quit. Right, Moose? Tell her it's rude. All right. Okay, Gemma, everybody's going to want to see Squirt Blossom. Can you get Squirt Blossom out? Okay, so there is the Blossom of Squirt. Squirt Blossom. Our little lorikeet. She is a perfect lorikeet. She is 
just about as perfect as you can possibly get. She is sweet and beautiful and, and funny and silly and just a lot of fun. Lorikeets do eat a liquid diet, fruit and nectar, okay. and as a result they have liquid projectile poopies. And so they're not not a good pet for everybody. But if you're prepared to deal with that, then they are a lot of fun. Here. You want to lick that? Here. Here, this. Lick that. Okay, how about this? You want this? We let her nibble on and taste the extra like baby bird formula. What are you I doing? Think she likes it. You're crazy. Do you know that? No, she likes it. Here, turn around and bounce. Here, no, not to me. Turn to the camera and bounce. Here. Here, there. Stay where I put you. Right there. Bounce. Here, bounce. Bounce. No, there. Bounce. Oh, moose, yes. Laugh at her. The Melita's going to laugh. Is your laugh going to laugh? Oh, y'all made moose scream. That's not laughing. Here, go into the cup. That's not She's uh, like a little wind-up toy. Get her bouncing. Go. No, nope, she's not going to do it. Sometimes I can get her bouncing and she'll go boing, boing, boing all on her own. <laughs> but just like a kid, she's not going to do what you want when you want. Especially if you're trying to make a YouTube video. Uh, get back over here. Get back lie. over here. Stay in the video frame. No, come over here. There. She's crazy. Here, here, here. Let's do that a little bit and bring you over here. Silly, silly bird. Silly, silly. Silly, silly coconut bird. Are you the silly bird? Lolita, quit! That sounds creepy. Uh-oh. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> she just fell right off the table. I guess that's a good time to say God bless you, everybody. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. We love you. Bye-bye.